if we're diving in, we're, we're not making the lifestyle changes. Say we just let that stress keep coming and we're putting ourselves in situations where, you know, our adrenal glands are, are fatigued. Even if we take hormones and, and, and forgive me because mm -hmm. I'm not an expert in that, mm -hmm. but uh, aren't we doomed to failure if we're not managing that stress too? Well, there's a metaphor that I came up with. Okay. Early I, I love Okay. <laughs> So this, this is the situation. Uh -huh. It's like we're looking in the mirror yes. and we don't like what we see in the mirror and we go to paint over the mirror. Oh, yes. Because that's what we do when we're just dealing with But symptoms. that reflection is still there. But the reflection is still there. Yes. So okay. the, the real goal that we have is to change to improve, to heal, uh -huh. to balance, right. that's probably the best word, what's being reflected. And I am thrilled to tell you that I've experienced this in my own physical body, I've seen this in my clients, the body knows what to do. Yes, yes, and that makes sense. And I went literally from a very dry situation where there, there's, a, there's an unfortunate term, but um, unfortunately a lot of women have experienced what we call vaginal atrophy. Oh. which is a fairly extreme situation of insufficient estrogen. It is can happen right? after menopause. Okay. So if women, and this goes beyond dryness, right. lubrication is not enough to solve it. Sure. But unfortunately, I'm sure there are many women out there postmenopausal for whom sex is no longer pleasurable. Oh, that's terrible. And that, as far as I'm concerned, is an intolerable situation. Yes. It is not inevitable. Um, I'm not going to share all the personal details of how I reversed that situation okay. at this time, but That's I could. That's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> but I could. I know. Um, and, and so I know that this potential exists yeah. for us. Okay. And as you and I were chatting about right. a little while ago, um, tapping into that juiciness, that mm -hmm. life force. Right. That's. That's where our anti-aging is, that's where our vitality is, that's where our immunity is. Right. The benefits of not just painting over that reflection in the mirror, but really understanding the joyful ways that we can rebalance ourselves. Because I'm not talking about yeah. hard things here. Right. I'm talking about easy things like you know, the finding out which foods we love love us back. Yes. And simple breathing techniques that reduce cortisol. Right. And uh, how to enhance our oxytocin, which is our love hormone that antidotes cortisol by everything that we do that's pleasurable. So I'm thrilled to be able to tell people, well, so what do I do? Yeah. The, the things to do physiologically, right. hang out with your girlfriends, uh -huh. eat dark chocolate, get more sleep. I love have you. More sex. Look at you, you're giving me the green light to do all the things I love. And you know, if we weren't living in such a puritanical world uh -huh. that thinks that if it feels good, it must be bad for us, it, that was a very male paradigm. Okay. Women run on pleasure. Yeah. This oxytocin hormone is the best thing that the divine gave us. Right. And it actually solves all of our hormone imbalance problems.